kids from school, they're yelling. He's skipping class for you. Yeah. We good? Yep, we're rolling. Well, thank you for uh, taking the time to do this. This is great. My pleasure. Thank you. Is this your first time in Helena? First time in Helena, yes. Okay. So what's what's it like for you to, uh, to walk in the footsteps of Father Stu and where he lived and served? Well, it's been an amazing experience. Obviously, this being um, the first time that we'll actually show the movie to his family, although his dad has seen it, but really to all of his family, friends, parishioners, mm -hmm. uh, members of the congregation. So that's nerve-wracking, but mm -hmm. ultimately very exciting because so, so far the response has been overwhelmingly positive. Sure. And everybody knows how committed I was to getting it right and doing them justice and hopefully making them very proud. Sure. And what about seeing these places where he lived, Carroll College and the cathedral and, you know, these, these yeah, places where... that's pretty powerful. I Vis visited his... Uh, his resting place today. Oh, so the uh, but he's he's been with me now for quite some time when I committed to making this movie and um, throughout the entire process. Sure. Yeah. And so to to back up, how did you even find out about Father Stu and why did you decide to make a film? Uh, one of his fellow priests was pitching me the movie after dinner in Hollywood. I was like, this is bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> we got pitched a movie idea by a priest before. Huh. He's pretty adamant about it. And he told me, and then he started again from the top. And then halfway through, I was like, "Why is it? Wait a second. What? What are you talking about? Now? I'm just trying to eat my pasta. I'm with another priest who's in his nineties, and um, and then he told me the story again. And I realized, wow, uh, yeah, I'm gonna make this movie. This is. Uh, and I'm always kind of wondering, you know, what am I supposed to be doing? The bigger picture, right? Mm -hmm. To kind of plug away, kind of building up my platform and my business, and trying to be the best father and husband I could be, and doing all those things. And uh, and the story came to me, and I was like, okay, this is something that I should be doing. I prayed about it for quite some time, and every time I did, it just kind of reaffirmed uh, my initial instinct that this is this kind of project has chosen me. Hmm. It's up to me to uh, to bring it to the big screen and bring Stu's story and his message to the masses. So was this pitch to you as a, a film, or was yeah. this someone just sharing yeah. a story? No, no, no. He was like, "You got to make this movie. You got to play this guy." I was like, "You're you my agent now? I thought you were my pastor." <laughs> and this was usually you don't have that kind of thing happening. You know what I mean? It's yeah. a conflict of interest. Was this your own priest? Uh, he's the pastor of the kid, my kid's school. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Huh. Mm -hmm. So how did you go about researching and preparing for this role? Um, you know, obviously speaking to, to Bill and the family and Father Bart, uh, Bishop Thomas, mm -hmm. um, Father Ed, who knew him well, uh, whatever um, information was out there about Stu, video, all that stuff, but just hearing the stories um, and then kind of, you know, figuring out how we could condense such a colorful life that spanned decades and such an epic story. Um, into a two-hour movie that we would have to shoot in a 30-day period. Not yeah. an easy thing to do. Yeah, very very quick, it, yeah. it seems. Yeah. Do you, do you think the uh, the film is true to real life? Uh, yes, I think as close as I could possibly get, again, within the two-hour time frame, sure. taking all things considered. Yes, I mean, did we have to take certain liberties, of course, but did we want to capture the essence of Stu and who he was and how many people he touched and how he faced so much adversity and to find his calling and then became really an immovable object who was, you know, solely planted in, in, in a foundation of faith that his service was going to uh, have a remarkable impact on so many people in mm -hmm. such a short amount of time. But I guess it would be for everybody tonight to decide. <laughs> right. So this is the first... But certainly it was not for lack of effort, my friend. Yeah. That I can promise you. My sure. intentions were of the most pure and my my uh, my dedication and commitment to trying to get it right. Oh, everything I possibly could. Sure. And how do you how do you strike that, uh, that tone to portray someone who had this um, difficult past and then, you know, grew to become this beloved... Priest, how do you how do you portray that in a way that accurately reflects it? Um, well, I think it's it, you know it, it just in the most honest way possible. But I think it was 
That's why it's funny, it's heartwarming, it's emotional, but ultimately it's very uplifting. Mm -hmm. You know, we could have easily, just with its tone, went in any direction. We could have gone a lot heavier with the darker stuff. And mm -hmm. we wanted a movie that was accessible to people and, and then something that was going to ultimately bring people in and then challenge them, but ultimately inspire them. Um, and, you know, you want people to feel really good about it. And even though Stu dealt with some very difficult things, how we dealt with it um, is really the important thing that hopefully people find inspiration in. Mm -hmm. Can you uh, share a little about your own faith and how that played into this film? Yeah, I've been, you know, a man of faith for quite quite some time. Um, you know, I probably like Stu when I got in trouble. I was like, God, God, please, please get me out of this. I promise I'll never do it again. But it was then when I started focusing my uh, on my faith, good things started happening for me, and then recognizing. Uh, where that came from, and then directly uh, correlating directly to my faith, I wanted to also express as much gratitude as I did uh, the need for help. And so I've just been constantly trying to grow and be a better person, better father, husband, servant to God, friend, neighbor, you know, all those things. And now with, with my career and all the films that I've made, if I'm in a position to go and make a story that I feel is really important and can help a lot of people, that's, that's why I wanted to make the movie. And you say that, that Father Stu has been with you uh, for some time. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you think that he, uh, I mean, has he shown you things about your own life, do you think, that yeah. has helped you in that journey? Yeah, and challenging me as well. I mean, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's one of those things where I've got a picture of him here where, where I sit and spend most of my time. You know, there's a new picture of him there. So when I'm on a phone call, when I'm, you know, working on something else, or I'm dealing with even, you know, my siblings and our restaurant business, all those things have kind of, you know, he's been, uh, yeah, he's been playing a major part in my life since, since uh, this story came to me. Sure. And what do you want people to take away from it? Uh, you know, I just think, well, everybody who's seen the movie has been touched in their own personal way, and I think hopefully people will be inspired to do uh, a little bit more themselves and help out wherever they can. I think Stu was so amazing in how selfless he was and how um, even in his suffering, he was constantly in service of others. And so are people in a position to, to just do a little bit more and be a little bit better. And I think that's, that's an amazing thing if you can kind of have people feeling like, and, and, and embracing that, that idea of wanting to do more and do better. Mm -hmm. That's a beautiful thing. So tonight is the first uh, big showing, you said, right? Yeah. So are you, how do you feel about that? Are you nervous for people to see it? Are you excited for uh, people to see it? I'm excited for people to see it. I'm excited for people to see it. You know, it's one of those things where, uh, what is the Montana? Is it the, the Treasure State? Yep, Treasure State. Okay. Well, this is the, the Big Sky State. This is one of this is one of Montana's treasures that they're going to now have to share with the world. But I think they'll be pleased to share it with the world because Stu did so many amazing things for so many people and he will continue to do that all these years later. And so I think that's, that's very, uh, I, I, I think that would put a big smile on his face. Okay, was there anything else you wanted to share with the people of Helena? No, I'm ex I want to share the movie with them. Okay. And I just want them to know that, uh, you know, I hope that they love it as much as I did. And I, I know and I love Stu as much as they did. I wanted to really honor him and honor that. And, you know, uh, this is my love letter to Stu and to, to the good Lord. So. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Pleasure.